Hey guys, welcome to my new video. This is day five at Disney. Um, right now I'm at Blizzard Beach. This day was a day where we went to two parks. So in the morning we went to Blizzard Beach. And then um, me, my brother, and my nephew went our own separate ways. Thomas and Casey um, went to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And I went to Hollywood Studios. And my parents this day went back to Magic Kingdom to ride all the rides they wanted to. This is the only footage I have from Blizzard Beach. But we did ride all the rides we wanted to because it was actually a really slow day at Blizzard Beach. The only park I did not go to that I really, you know, that I had planned to go to, um, thanks to Hurricane Matthew, it didn't happen, was um, Typhoon Lagoon. So here we are at Hollywood Studios. You guys have already seen me like walk in in my previous video. I walked to um, uh, Tower of Terror and they were sending people away because the ride was broken down. Only people with fast passes could ride. So I walked over to um, Rock and Roller Coaster, which had an 80 minute wait. And I was like, oh, hell no. So now I'm in line at Star Wars. And yeah, so that side of the park was really busy. When you went over to the other side, it was actually really slow because the uh, fireworks were getting ready to happen. So a lot of people were like heading over for Fantasia. Fantasmic and the fireworks. So I went to go see three Star Wars movies um, and this is the launch bay. What I didn't realize because I went to go see these Star Wars movies on the way to Star Tours. I know it wasn't Star Tours. I've been to Star Tours before and this is all new to me. So I went to go see the films because I love films. I walked out of the making of Star Wars and I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to go to the exit and I just keep walking in this building. And I didn't know any of this was here. I didn't know this was happening. I just wanted to find the exit. And I found a bar and a history exhibit about Star Wars instead. It's really cool. It's not going to have its own separate film like the Kauai exhibit did. I am I was literally just trying to find the exit because I wanted to go to Star Tours. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the bar. Isn't that crazy? Um, after this, I ha ha go see two more Star Wars films, and then I head to Star Tours, which I went on right as the fireworks were happening. Happening, So I literally walked on and off of Star Tours, and um, it was super fun. I highly, you have to go. Like, Star Tours is something you have to do at Disney. And um, there were only like five people on the ride too, so it was super fun. After Star Tours, I went to, um, the Muppets, yeah, we're still we're still in the launch bay, guys. Like, and you know, just imagine the typical, you know, you know, Star Wars bar music in the background. You know what I mean? We've all seen Episode Four, Five, and Six. You know, um, we're really close to the exit. There's this little shop coming up, and then I finally am free. But I went to go see the Muppet movie, which was also really fun. Um, it's something I do like every time, mostly because my sister loves Kermit the Frog because she loves frogs. So I went to go see that and then um, I went on a Turner Classic movie ride but as I got out of the Turner Classic movie ride I ran into stormtroopers who were heading you know back to their mission and I got some really great clips on my snapchat and um, my Instagram so I'm sorry this is like two months late so there's nothing you could do um, I did post them to my Facebook but that's my personal Facebook and I posted it for my family my dad really loved those clips where he's like you just ran into stormtroopers and I was like I know it was so cool and here's the um, place where you go see the Muppet movie um, so after Turner Classic Movie, I headed back over to, um, the Tower of Terror, which I waited in line 90 minutes for. So what had happened was there are four elevators, three broke down, only one elevator was moving. And that's why they were actively sending people away. Um, it's also magic hours, I believe this night, I think. Um, that's why that place is closed, but I'm still going around. So I didn't film anything for the Tower of Terror because it was an hour and a half wait. Um, it was a little shorter for me because I was a single rider, so I was able to jump on and shout out to the two ladies who uh, kept me company waiting for that ride. And then I headed straight over to Rock and Roller Coaster um, because it's Rock and Roller Coaster. I was going to ride that before I left. And I literally got out 15 minutes before the uh, park closed from Tower of Terror, so I literally ran to Rock and Roller Coaster. So, um, also really suggest this ride it's really fun and then after this you know the park is closed so I'm walking out and I 
I'm like, I don't even want to deal with the thing, like the thought of what the line is going to look like to get onto the bus to go back to Saratoga Springs. So I take the bus that goes to Disney Springs instead, which is actually within walking distance from Saratoga Springs. Like they're connected from a boat ferry and there's a sidewalk and you can also take a bus from one place to the other. So I went shopping um, this day and then... Um, and you, this is stuff you haven't seen in the hall. So this is shopping after my haul. I went shopping. I got a snack. I just chilled and relaxed by myself. And then this is me walking home. And um, as you're going to find out, because I'm talking bits from the past in this, I get a little lost, but I get home safely. There's a bus that runs in Saratoga Springs that I literally jumped on and I got home like five minutes after realizing I didn't know where I was. So I'm going to stop talking now and I hope you guys enjoy. Hi guys oh sorry um hi i just put my phone in my face again i'm currently walking home it's almost midnight which is when uh, what's now called disney springs it used to be downtown disney is called i uh finished up at Hollywood Studios and went to Disney Springs to buy some things and have a snack because I was hungry and um, buy some things that I've been meaning to buy. Just I haven't bought anything at the parks because I'm used to being a broke ass bitch. Sorry for the kids watching this. I'll probably edit that out. I haven't bought anything at the parks because I'm just so used to being broke and so I'll look at things and be like, no. Nah, want that and I walk away and I'm like I walk back to the room and all the money I budgeted for that day has gone unspent so I uh, treated myself to some stuffy animals and um, getting my pen set started tomorrow is Friday so we have Friday and Saturday here and then Sunday and that's it and we leave I'm feeling really mixed about this trip overall though uh, just because ooh, the hurricane messed everything up, everything's been drama. If you're my family watching this, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Nothing's been drama ever. We're cool. Um, but because we've come to the trip so late, and uh, a lot of other people also didn't cancel their reservations because, like, they spent their money on it. The parks are super packed. The only way I rode any of the rides that I had planned to ride at Magic Kingdom was uh, literally, oh, there's a pool coming up full of people, it sounds like. The only way I rode anything at Magic Kingdom was because they had magic hours. That's how I rode everything. I had to ride everything during the nighttime. So it's just been a very interesting trip. Um, some of the Disney cast members haven't been acting the way I'm used to them acting, but it also might be because I'm riding a ride at 11 p.m. You know, the huge. And um, just trying to stay positive, trying not to get anybody in trouble because I myself work in retail and I have to cut them some slack because they don't know I work in retail. They don't even know that I'm a college graduate of the age of 24. So we'll see what happens. I'm hoping tomorrow is going to be really fun and really great. And I think this is my area. I'm going to walk. Otherwise, I'm going to just walk around in circles. And uh, I just ready to go home, pop in a movie, go to bed. Ooh, I should also say I took a video. Ooh, let me rearrange the arm here. I uh, did a video on my Snapchat. I think of the Turner Classic movie ride. Oh my god, I love Turner Classic movies. Like, oh my god, especially my favorite month of the year is the countdown to the Oscars because Turner Classic movies does a whole month of award winning movies. I live for this month. It's, I keep going for, because of it. Like, it's amazing and I'm not walking the right way. 
am I? I don't know. We're gonna keep going. So I went on that ride and I literally, I brought like, I brought uh, Pushing Daisies season two with me. Hello people in the pool area. Pushing Daisies season two, I completed season with me. And I brought a whole bunch of new movies that I bought at um, Barnes & Noble to bring specifically on this trip. And they highlighted Blazing Saddles, which I'm literally watching right now, and The Way We Were. <laughs> also brought that. So I was just like, yo, TCM, shout out for reading my mind. Am I right? I'm right. Anyways, I'm going to say goodnight here, find out where I am, and stop looking like a crazy person. <laughs>